a multilingual instruction following re-ranker model is here and that is what we are going to install in this video and i am going to show you something different not only we will install it we are also going to check it out with a real world use case with model context protocol servers so what i am going to do after getting it installed i am going to get a real time mcp server which will be serving a lot of mcp servers and their details and we are going to rank them with this new re-rank version 2 model this model is interesting because just relying instead of just relying on basic similarity search like vector embedding or keyword matching this one applies deeper semantic reasoning and instruction following to optimize the ranking for the specific query Reranker v2 from contextual ai is the latest open source family of instruction following multilingual rankers which is available in multiple parameter sizes 1 billion 2 billion and 6 billion i am going to install the 6 billion one this is fahad mirza and i welcome you to the channel please like the video and subscribe and please also consider becoming the member of the channel i have just opened up the membership it is very cheap but it helps me a lot in getting this channel going now I am going to use this Ubuntu system to get this installed I, my GPU card is NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. I am creating a virtual environment with Konda. If you don't have that uh, much VRAM, you can either install the 1 billion version on CPU or you could rent a GPU from Mast Compute on very cheap prices. You can get the link with a discount coupon code of 50% uh, for range of GPUs from the video's description so please do check them out once virtual environment is installed let's install some of the prerequisites and by the way i'm going to install the mcp server repo all local all free so you don't have to pay for any api cost and while installs it installs all the prerequisites let me also introduce to our sponsors of the video who are iGent which is the world's first multi-open workforce desktop application empowering you to build manage and deploy a custom ai workforce that can turn your most complex workflows into automated tasks let's go back and it is almost there let's wait okay that is done next up i am going to git clone the repo of pulse mcp server and that is what i'm going to install in order to show you how exactly this thing is working and we will be using this local mcp server now the only prerequisite which you need is to have this node and npm installed if you don't know how to install it just search my channel it's very simple it's a one liner and from the root of the repo simply run npm install maybe first let's install some express server that is that should be very quick that is done and then simply do npm install from the root of the repo and mcp server is installed once that's done you see that it has created this build index.js let's build it and i'm just going to use this node command for that and now you see that it is just running over there now i'm just going to cancel it because what i want to do primarily i just want to use it as a http server not as a stdi but this confirms that everything is running fine now i already have wrapped it um, in my http server so let me run that and once you do that server and dash http.js it is going to start this at your local host on port 3000 so i'm just going to keep this one running and i'm just going to open another window where i will be accessing this mcp server and i will also be showing you the code and explaining what exactly we are doing here with this re-ranker now this is the code which i am going to use now what this code is doing it is simply going in and fetching the live mcp server metadata using the pulse mcp server which we already have started on our local system and then each 
MCP server's short description becomes a document prompt alongside the user query. And the reRanker v2 model then scores each document based on how well it aligns with the user's intention. In this case, I'm going to give it a simple financial query and then it is going to give me the relevant documents after getting them scored. So basically, we have built a smart automated uh, MCP server uh, you know um, interface that dynamically selects the best tool for the job and if you uh, want to also have this code just become a member and then i will send send you the code it also helps um, supporting the channel thank you very much so let me go back and then uh, what i'm going to do here i'm just going to run that python.app.py so what this is going to do this is going to first download the model from hugging face and even before i run the script i would highly recommend you to log in to hugging face with this command and this is asking you for your read token which is a free token that you can grab from your hugging face profile just go to huggingface.co in your profile grab your read token paste it capital y and we are logged in now and now you can simply run that app.py script which i just showed you and you can see that the first time when you run it it is going to download the model there are four shards of it and at the top you see it already fetched all of these uh, 100 basically just there are i think more than 5000 servers there but for our demo i have just fetched 100 mcp servers with three columns name description uh, and then rank, you know uh, this is a short one this is where it is going to um, just take this as a document and then we'll patch it up with the prompt and the prompt is my prompt is i want to analyze financial data and stock charts so i believe it is almost there i will also show you the vram consumption when it uh, is running so let me also start that while it runs in the background just to show you in the real time how exactly this thing is working so i think it is not even using my vram it's so so quick it's already done maybe i will restart it but anyway you see uh, before i show you run it again all it has done it has gone in and scored um, these documents with this read anchor and then in a real world rack pipeline you would just pick the top one or two or three you will just put it in your prompt and then you will give more grounded nuanced context to your llm by using this re-ranker and of course in a real world rack pipeline there will be a lot of other things you'll be also putting in some hybrid search you will have your proper schema and a lot of other things which revolve around that but um, i'm just focusing on the re-ranker part here and let's say we run it again it runs loads uh, stuff there Oops, okay, I'll just go and check VRAM consumption. Now, now we see what it is doing. So it went over 18 gig of VRAM if you are looking closely. But that is fine. As I said, if you just want to go with a smallish one, you can just go with a 1 billion parameter. This was a big, big re-ranker. And I would suggest if you have a very uh, critical application, just go with the 6 billion one. And of course, if you, your requirements are multilingual, that's it. Let me know what do you think. Please like the video and subscribe. And as I requested earlier, please become a member as that supports the channel a lot. Thank you very much.